live. All right. You can uh, you can start it off. All right. I'll do the same thing. Three, two, two one. one. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Vayner. And I'm Pease. And we are Uper Product Reviews, where we try shit. So you don't have to buy shit. And today we don't have shit. This is a new gadget of mine. We're getting back to our roots. Yeah, getting back to our roots of uh, guitars and stuff. Guitars and guitar products. So, yes. yeah. What do you got today? What is this little this contraption? Is, this is a little doodad that I've been wanting to buy for like years. This is the... It's a doodad. Yeah, it's a doodad. This is the Fender Guitar Workstation, guys. Okay. So... Don't worry about that later. So anyways, <laughs> so, so what it is, is it's a foam mat, all right, that lays out like this. And then you've got your little neck support. There's a cup holder, a okay. little cup on the bottom so you can stick like rags and nuts and bolts and little screwdrivers and stuff. Okay. And then like that That's and cool. voila, there it is right there. So this is really convenient. Hey, time off. What's up? You got something against like a shower towel? I do, because they move a around. Towel? They... What's wrong with that? Why can't you just use a bathroom towel? You too good for a bathroom towel, Kyle? I wasn't. Come for on. Like 13 years I wasn't. <laughs> but the thing is, is they move around. Okay. Uh, we don't have a towel here, but. No, we don't have a towel. We don't have a towel, but check it out. Ready? We do have a guitar. Look at it. It's not moving. But here's, here's the other thing too. When you when you're trying to work on a guitar, the neck always wants to tilt forward yeah just like that so it's constantly rubbing really annoying and you always i always do the capo trick you put your capo on here so it actually kind of like rests up a little bit but even that's kind of uh, janky yeah but wait what if what if you just had something to support it get out of here <laughs> would you look at that <laughs> would you just look at it so this is the uh this is the main uh, convenience factor for this whole little uh doodad as I keep calling it here. Yep. Um, you got your nice little foam pad so the guitar's not going to get dinged up and also you're not going to ding your table up. I probably for like 10 years like totally just thrashed my little coffee table in my basement growing up. It just got dings in it from my Strat. Just bonk, bonk. You know? Sure, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. This is that's a pretty much it here, but... And I'm, what is this around? A couple hundred bucks? This was actually $40. I got 40 it. 40 bucks? 40 bucks. It's one of those things, once you get it, you, you got it for life, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so, not going to like wear and tear on you, at least as far as I know right now. But rolls up, fits in that tube. Rolls up, fits in the tube that I tossed on the floor that I don't have anymore, but it's really convenient. Um, this kind of like is, would be like the equivalent of like a... Um, like a, a, a lift for your car, you know? So it's like the whole time right. you're, like a towel is like the same thing as like jacking your car up and putting it on jack stands. It's really nice and it gets the car up, but man, how nice would it be if you could just lift your car up and work on it like this? Yeah, how nice really, would it yeah. be if you had a nice foam pad with a little neck support and just, that's awesome. It's just right out there in front of you. You can do this, you can clean when you that. First, when you first laid this out, I'm like, well, that mat's not big enough. Mm-hmm. Because I was thinking you were going to put it up here like Exactly. This. And, then, and then I was like, wait a minute. It just fits perfectly. Yeah, you can put it wherever you want. Right? Nice. And uh, <clears throat> that's what I thought, too. I was like, this is a little small. But then you realize it's like, okay, well, you know, the big chunk of your work is actually going to be, you know, going on here when you're, like, polishing and stuff. And even so, even if you just move it down, it's not like you don't have access to your net. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. No, that's so. awesome. Cause like I said before, a towel moves on you. It does mm -hmm. this. It does this shit when you when when you try to like wipe and and whatever. It's really annoying. Yeah. Exactly. So anyways, so if you do any work on your guitar, this would be. It doesn't hurt to spend a couple extra bucks on that. Yeah, it's forty bucks. Yeah. That was like when I was growing up. That was like four cut lawns right there. <laughs> Like that's like one month of work right there. I mean, that's how much my dad paid me, 10 bucks every time. All right, so, so what we're gonna do. Live um, action. We're, not gonna, we're probably not gonna show you all this. We're gonna run through this probably in uh, high speed, maybe montage mode. We'll get a good montage <laughs> It's the final countdown. We are going to be, because we have a really good video coming up, we're gonna be restoring this back to its factory default settings yes <laughs> restore it to factory default like okay. when you go into your phone settings you did you save your pictures though factory default settings <laughs> so um what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing the saddle putting that back to the stock saddle 
putting on some cheap old ass strings because what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be doing a comparison review of this guitar which is the Rogue RA090. Click this video right here. All right. Right here. Here. That's floating around. All right. I'll click it. And back. we're going to be comparing it to the one step up Rogue RA100. Because you guys asked for it. You guys asked for it. We're doing it. Um, but we thought it would only be fair to restore this one back to its factory default settings. And, so. and what a great idea because you guys can actually see how convenient this damn thing actually is all the while putting this back to its, like he said, factory settings yep. so that we can do a comparison in the next video with the guitar. Absolutely. So, all right, well, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's get into it. And for strings, we're going to be using the, uh, the first act. Mm -hmm. Adam Levine specials <laughs> that I picked up for five bucks at Target. There you go. So, all right, here we go. And this. we're taking off the Elixir NanoWeb lights that were on it. All right. All right. So, let's do it. Here we go. All right. And a couple tools for the job. Got my drunk idea that I made up. They actually make these now, but they didn't. I don't think when I had it. So. <laughs> I don't check, think. I don't think. I, check can't, out, I cannot confirm that. <laughs> check out the other video, the uh, how to restring guitar uh, one that we got, the Rogue uh, one. Figure out how you can possibly make this and see how it's used. It's like this. It's unwinding the string! That's, that's awesome. It's pretty sweet instead of doing this. For hours on end. Even if you have a string winder, it still is not as good as that. Mm -hmm. It's like trying to... Uh, whisk egg whites with like a butter knife and then someone shows you a whisk and you're like oh this is so much easier <laughs> all right and then i got my trusty my trusty string cutters and we're just gonna go to town here and there's so, one thing i thought of because we did remember yeah. we did do this review of the uh oh yeah multi tool the didario string winder um and if you remember it's got the uh It's got the pullers. Oh yeah, the bridge pin puller. Yeah, it's got the pin puller. That's pretty sweet. Check out that video as well. The, the Dario this wonder. little tool. We'll put a link to that in the video. Yeah. We also have it floating around here somewhere, so we can get some live action for you. So just keep in mind that even though this video is more or less about like you know a guitar that's getting strung, look at what it's sitting on and how nice this is. <laughs> Like Ashley's down here. Oh man, I almost pulled the wrong string. Oh, did you? <laughs> Our Pease is down here, freaking just taking these strings off. I'm up here doing this work. This is like a really, really nice buy. And if you like working on guitars, if you got a lot of them, if you like to keep them in good condition and cleaning them up, definitely get yourself this little workstation or something like it if you have something against yeah. Fender, which just stop watching and go away. All right. There we go. Pretty, they're pretty loosey gears here. Yeah. Alright, we're at about nine minutes. Okay. Ready to fly. The hardest thing. Right. You know, I'm gonna zoom in on this. Yeah. Part here. I'm gonna show them the uh, the saddle. So the saddle right here, we had upgraded this to a a nicer saddle, the one that is intonated, because the original one is not. It's just a straight piece of plastic. A lot of people were giving me shit saying that we modified the guitar when we originally put this in. <laughs> yeah. We did not. This literally just sits right in here. Yeah. I don't know if I can do it right from here. Watch. Oh, yeah. It's just sitting right in there. Yeah. We didn't modify this hole at all. I got this at a local music shop for like a dollar ninety nine. I just checked tonight when I went there to get new strings for this guitar. They still have these there. Now I'm not saying you could be able, you'll be able to get one online for that price. Yeah. But right. anyway. they're out there. Can you can you pull that out? I I can't do it with my left mm -hmm. hand. I don't want to cut it. Yeah. We can see wait, it just pulls right out. We did not modify this at all. This is the stock this is the stock 
hole, if you will. It's one of those things you buy. And so and this go, one just, just so happens to fit. Yep. And this one just goes in there. We might have to. Oh no! There, boom. So right back in there. Yeah. And uh, there we go. Now we got the stock one back in there. We're going back to factory default setting. <laughs> Make sure you save and, your pictures. Uh, Kyle's uh, still going to town here on the yeah on the strings. So keep like I said before, keep in mind that all the while that Pease is down here doing this whole thing, I'm up here like working on the strings. This is really really nice. When you got a towel down, you can't do this. This is like up. God, I love it. Right. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. All right. Okay. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? We are on the A string. The A string of the Adam first. Levine First Act Designer Series Acoustic oh, Guitar yeah. Strings. Dude, Adam Levine. These are going to sound so good. They're going to be great. Can't fucking wait. And the reason we're doing this is because when I bought the guitar, it came with the cheapest strings. Like, no, no name strings. You can't, I mean, they weren't a brand name. They're just the cheapest strings. That's why you can get this guitar for 50 bucks. It's just, it's got a lot of cheap components on it, including the strings. So mm -hmm. we didn't think it'd be fair comparison if we did it with Nano Web Elixir still on. Yeah. Wait. Right. All right. It's a good beach guitar, though. I mean. Oh, it's a great knockaround guitar. You can just. The Lone Wolf. It's my Lone Wolf. <laughs> I'll just take it with me wherever. Throw it in the back seat. I don't care if it gets cold. I don't care if it gets dirty. I don't even care. I don't care if it falls over. <laughs> On the sea, man. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right. she <clears throat> will Oh, yeah. Oh, Blossom Bridge, man. Hey, oh. <laughs> we gotta loosen that one up for you. All right. Good? I'll hold it. There you go. There Got you go. it? It just popped. Is that it? Yeah. Keep holding it down. Is there tension on it? Got her. For now. Yeah. No, you're good on that one now. All right. All right. I'm having deja vu right now with this guitar. <laughs> like big time. Because we already did this. Yeah. Because yeah. we already did this. All right, ready? Here we go. There we go. We're back. All right, we're back. We're back to stock. Yeah, we're back to stock, essentially. I With mean, the most basic strings. Mm -hmm. the, row, the cheapest strings I could find. Yeah. So, if you want to, if you want to pick these up, five ninety nine at Target. Mm -hmm. First <laughs> act, Adam Levine specials. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that pretty much wraps up this segment of doing this to the guitar and showing off the old. Showing off the mat. I the think the Fender real, the real star of this is the mat. The real star is the mat. It's the mat. And you know what? Hold this for a second while we got time. Sure. So here is the Fender guitar mat right here. Okay. And this thing right here, just in case everybody's wondering, it's got a little cup in the bottom. You just pop off, just like that. And see, I got a little microfiber top oh, in there. Oh snap! What? So you can put your screw I didn't have that. Oh yeah. Right? That's sweet. That is sweet. Yeah, so it's kind of rough to get towel off. in there. It'll loosen up over time. So six packs of soda. soda. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So that was that. So all that work we just did right there, we literally strung those strings on in like I don't that know. was like 10 minutes. Not even. Less than I, feel, 10 minutes. I feel like it was like about four and a half minutes. It was like four and a half. Yeah. So <laughs> so we did all that on this, and the guitar is not damaged. It brought it up front and center to us to work on it. It's great. So we were able to both on. work on it at the same time because the neck was up. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, you don't always have two people, but yeah, but it's not on a towel. It's not doing this. It's not flopping around back and forth because it doesn't do that. All right, I think that's about all we can say about okay. that. Yeah, really. <laughs> all right, so ready? So watch our next video because we're gonna be trying out the Rogue. RA100 right here in comparison to the Rogue uh, RA090. 090. 090. 090. Whatever. Because you guys asked for it. So I'm Fainer. <laughs> <laughs> with that, we'll see you in a minute. All right, later.